What's up, guys? So we have a question today from Robbie Abraham, who says, uh, let's see, can you elaborate on the topic of a VPN and Tor? I know there are some VPN providers touting they don't keep logs of your activity, etc., but I'm not sure how credible those comments are. Totally understandable. Um, you know, at the end of the day, a for-profit business, which, you know, if you think, if you really think about it, like, you know, some of the most successful CEOs have the closest kind of personality types with like, you know, socio and psychopaths, you know, um, they're just merciless, relentless, cutthroat, you know, very ambitious, very driven people. Um, and, you know, for the most part, corporations are the same way. Corporations are by definition psychopathic entities because, you know, nine times out of 10, I'm not saying all companies like this, but nine times out of 10, their their goal is profit, you know, profit for them, profit for their shareholders, and they don't care about the social, economic, you know, like none of the impacts that exist matter. The only thing that matters is that bottom line. And that's something that we see, you know, on a pretty, pretty regular basis uh, as far as companies go. So I would say to you, Robbie, um, if you like, you know, in all seriousness, man, like if you like want a good idea of how much you can trust, you know, these, these companies, I don't trust any of them, but, um, if you want to trust them, um, first off, I would say it's, it's, you know, screwing up your OPSEC already. Cause you're, you know, you have faith in something, which is blind trust. Um, it's a bad hit, bad hit, especially if you're doing something illegal, like you're literally jeopardizing your life and putting your life in the hands of a company who profits off you buying their product. They don't give a shit about you or, you know, like you think that they're going to not allow the Department of Homeland Security to check out one of their servers or, you know, set up something malicious on their server to protect you. You know what I mean? Like they, they don't, first off, they don't care. They can not keep logs all day, but at the end of the day, like, you know, those servers are taken over like it's like cancer you know um you know the the dark net market hands it was raided is taken over by feds uh, and they implemented different things that did you know kind of take away the obscurity that existed you know they did things like um they made it so that you know they had an auto encrypt button which is a horrible feature for a dark net market app but basically we take your address and it would encrypt it for the vendor so you didn't have to do it sounds great it's convenient again convenient security so it's more convenient, it's less secure. And be, that's exactly what it was. And what ended up happening was it would take your message, it would copy it, it would store a copy over here, and then it would encrypt it and would send it to the darknet vendor. So now the, you know, the feds, I think it was like the German feds who had taken it over, could see the plain text address that you had. Um, and, you know, a lot of people got raided behind that, you know, Um and again, it's trusting and it's a bad hit right off the bat. I tell you, no, don't do it. But compared to like that Big Mac or that, you know, that Wendy's burger, or like the fries that you see on, you know, in TV ads, you know, do they look anything like that in real life? No, usually not. You know, um, you watch a Febreze commercial and, you know, the lady's like holding her shirt and in ecstasy, you know, just sniffing her shirt. And it's like, do you do that? Probably not, you know, um, and, you know, I think if, I don't know if I walked in and I saw someone doing that, I'd be like, you know, you're a, you're a fucking weirdo, you know? <laughs> it's just, it's what it is. My point is they, these are for profit companies. They don't, you know, they don't care. Um, they care about making money. That's their goal. That's what it is. Um, and you can't verify that. Like you can't verify they don't keep logs. You have no way to do that, you know? Um, and that's a really bad hit. You don't have a way to verify that these companies, you know, aren't actually, you know, working for the feds. It's like Sprint and AT&T. You're like, oh, that's crazy. That doesn't happen. Like look up Sprint, look up AT&T, look at Fedtel, AKA Nextel, you know? Um, like, 
that's what it is. You know, it's an old business model that these guys do. And, you know, nowadays, you know, VPNs are the new Fed tells, you know, in my opinion, you know. Um, and, like, you have the Tor developers telling you, like, don't use a VPN, you know. Unless you're a, you're a super advanced user, don't use a VPN. Like, And, and people are like, oh, there's, there's use cases for it. Yeah, okay, I'm sure there are, you know. But the... This the spirit that I'm talking about using them in, you know, like using them to conduct commerce uh, or any of those kind of things or just stay anonymous on the dark net. Um, none of those use cases involve the need of a VPN. None of them, you know, like your everyday privacy, checking out, you know, Gmail and, and YouTube and Facebook and should I use a VPN? Yeah, hell yeah. Use a VPN. Absolutely. I would absolutely advise you do that. You know, it's it's a great, it's another additional layer of security and you're not, you know, doing anything that you have to worry about, you know, but when you're talking about committing, you know, felonies and, you know, doing it on an international level or, or a national level, um, yeah, that's, I would not blindly trust anyone, anyone. Nope. I think it's a very bad idea. Um, so yeah, that's, that's one of the reasons why I say stay away from it. Like at the end of the day, they get paid to sell you a service. They don't, they don't get paid to protect you. And like, if you, if you ever want to do kind of research on this, um, I think there was like, uh, I know shapeshift.io back when it was .io. Now it's something different. Um, a lot of these companies, what I'll end up doing is I'll just plug into Google, like the name of the company, comma, space, you know, um, uh, federal or, you know, um, um, I'll look for, you know, like, uh, different things where it's like, you know, they're subpoenaed or they're called, or, you know, you can go onto like Google scholar, um, and search for like keywords, you know, with that company. Um, and like if, you know, if it's used in evidence in a federal case, you might, you might pull it up or state case that might pull it up and you might, you might be able to see it. Um, so you can have some idea about how, you know, some way to verify this, you know, cause that's really the only way you can do it. Um, but I'm sure there's a, a million other ways. A lot of people out there, a lot, you know, more qualified, more intelligent than me, but like, you know, from my standpoint, like how, what I, my advice to you would be like, like, yeah, like that's, I mean, really there's no, I don't see how much further in depth we can go with it. If you have additional questions, definitely let me know. But um, that's like one of the reasons why I say, you know, absolutely stay away from the VPNs because you don't know who owns the company. You don't know how truthful they're being when they're telling you, making these claims about, you know, you being safe and them not keeping logs and, you know, all, all this other nonsense. You know, I just I dislike the idea of handing over my security, my possible future um, and my life to a for profit company who you know, is, is claiming that for five bucks or three bucks or 10 bucks or a hundred bucks a month, they'll make sure I don't go to prison. What happens if they don't follow through with that? What's my recourse? I don't think anything. Um, so that's something to think about, you know, um, I would analyze that and, you know, then think about like who gets subpoenaed with Tor. How do you subpoena open source software? Go with Tor. Forget the VPN. Use the VPN for your Gmail, your Facebook, you know, YouTube, all that crap. Use it for that crap. You know, avoid those ads. You know, if your VPN is malware, you know, blocking, you know, use it for that. But don't use it to try to keep yourself safe if you're doing anything even kind of nefarious on the dark net or considering it, you know, and then consider how you pay, how you paying for this VPN using a credit card, you know, <laughs> I, no, I'm using crypto. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. But you got it. You got the crypto on Coinbase, dude. Like you might as well just tell the feds what you're going to do because Coinbase is, you know, <laughs> like, I digress, side issue. Um, so, Robbie, I hope that answered your question. Um, if you guys haven't already, subscribe. Uh, hit that like button if you like this content and you want to get it out there. And I will see you guys in the next video.